In this video, we will compare and contrast two types of ratio. We will begin by considering a word problem. An assembly line can produce 14 boxes of cookies in 4 minutes. How many boxes can it produce in 18 minutes? So this word problem can be represented using a double number line. And we are going to use ratios to solve this problem. There are two types of ratio. One is to compare 18 minutes to 4 minutes and then we get a ratio of 9 is to 2. The other type is to relate 14 boxes to 4 minutes which get a ratio of 7 boxes is to 2 minutes. Now for the first type, the minutes and minutes cancel. So essentially we can get a ratio of 4.5 is to 1 without any units. Whereas the second type, the unit stays. The reason why is because the boxes and minutes, they don't cancel. They are two different measurements. So as a result, we get a rate of 3.5 boxes for every one minute. So we have to leave the units there. Now conceptually, how is the ratio 4.5 is to 1 different from the rate 3.5 over 1? For the first type of ratio, the 4.5 is actually referring to the number of groups of 4 minutes in 18 minutes. So we can see that there are actually 4.5 groups of 4 minutes in 18 minutes. So the 4.5 is referring to the number of groups, whereas the 4 minutes is the number of minutes in each group. So this is the definition of multiplication, right? number of groups times number of units in each group. And in this case, the 4.5 can be viewed as a multiplier. So we are using this ratio as a multiplier to multiply the 4 minutes to get our 18 minutes, right? So here you can see 4.5 times of 4 will give you 18 minutes. So that's the relationship between the two quantities of the same type. Whereas the 3.5 is actually a unit rate of 3.5 boxes per minute. So here we are using ratio as a unit rate. And you can see it's relating 3.5 boxes for every one minute, okay? All right, now for ratio as a multiplier is essentially a multiplicative comparison. We are comparing 18 minutes to 4 minutes. Alright, so we can see using strip diagram as 18 minutes is to 4 minutes is 9 is to 2. And then if you see, if you have 4 minutes, if you have 2 parts, then each part will be 2 minutes. And then for the 18 minutes, you will have 9 parts of 2 minutes. Alright? The rest ratio as a measure, we don't see it this way. It's not a multiplicative comparison because the boxes and minutes are of two different attributes. We cannot compare them multiplicatively. Instead, we can relate them and give us a new measure, which is a rate of production. 14 boxes in 4 minutes is the same as 3.5 boxes in 1 minute, but as a rate, it's actually 3.5 boxes per minute. So this unit is neither measuring the boxes nor the time. It's actually telling you how fast assembly line can produce boxes of cookie, right? Every minute it can produce 3.5 boxes. So it's actually a production rate. Now in terms of division, how is this 18 divided by 4 different from this 14 divided by 4? So the answer for 18 divided by 4, this 4.5, is referring to the number of groups of 4 minutes in 18 minutes. So this type of division is called quotative division or measuring model. Another common way of describing is the how many groups interpretation of division. So this is like 4 minutes will form one group and you have 2, 3, 4 and a half groups. So 18 minutes has four and a half groups of four minutes. Whereas the 14 divided by four is partitive division. 
Now here is actually 14 boxes divided by four minutes and the units are different. So we are like trying to partition the 14 boxes into four equal parts. And we are asking how many boxes in each part, right, or in each minute. So the answer is 3.5. So this is the sharing equally model of division. Or sometimes we call it how many units in one group type of division. Okay, so this is uh, how we relate the two types of ratio to the two interpretations of division. Now let's use the ratio of 4.5 or the rate of 3.5 box per minute to solve our story problem. How can we solve our story problem using the ratio 4.5 is to 1? So again, the 4.5 means there are 4.5 times of 4 minutes in 18 minutes. So since the production rate is the same, every 4 minutes is going to produce 18 boxes. If we have 4.5 groups of this in 18 minutes, then in 18 minutes we will produce 4.5 times of the 14 boxes to get our answer. So that's how we use the 4.5 relationship. So the answer will be 4.5 times of 14 boxes will give you the answer of 63 boxes. That's our answer. Now if we use ratio as a unit rate, so now the unit rate is relating 14 boxes to 4 minutes, which is 3.5 box per minute. And this unit rate stays the same, no matter how many minutes assembly line is working, right? So in 18 minutes, we want to figure out how many boxes. Since we know every minute is 3.5 box, so we just multiply the rate by 18 minutes. And if you see the minutes and minutes cancel, so the answer will be in terms of boxes. And 18 times 3.5 is actually 63. We get the same answer. All right, either way of solving it. So let's recap the main points between the two types of ratio. Now, as for ratio as a multiplier, it relates two quantities within the same measure. So it's like relating minutes to minutes, and it's relating boxes to boxes, all right? Whereas ratio as a unit rate is relating two quantities that are of different measures. We are relating boxes and time in terms of minutes, okay? Now, for ratio as a multiplier, it is being used to compare two quantities multiplicatively. So we are like comparing 18 minutes to 4 minutes, which has a ratio of 9 is to 2, or 4.5 is to 1. All right? So this is the use of ratio as a multiplicative comparison. So how do we see 4.5? Again, 4.5 refers to the multiplier the number of times of four minutes we need in order to get 18 minutes. All right, so this 4.5 is to relate the 18 minutes to the four minutes. Now, whereas ratio as a unit rate, it really forms a new measure. This 3.5 boxes per minute is measuring production rate, all right? It is not just number of boxes, nor is just the time. It's a relationship between boxes and minute. So it's telling you how fast the assembly line can produce boxes. Okay, so 3.5 is the unit rate. Now in terms of division, the ratio as a multiplier is essentially related to how many groups type of division. Measurement model. All right, so 18 divided by 4. You have 4.5. There are 4.5 groups of 4 minutes in 18 minutes. Whereas for the ratio as a unit rate, it's related to the how many units in one group interpretation of division, or we call partitive model. Okay, with that, thank you.